Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm, if we can call it a farm still. Now, when we left off, I was purchasing or filling up from what we'd purchased of feed for the cows. I put little in the beef, the rest in with the dairy. That then looked measly, so I went back and as our finances show, I spent about another four grand, four grand, 40 grand on feed for the cows to try and sort them out and at least have them fed for uh, October. I'll put a flash up now of uh, what our feed tools were in the dairy pen. I'm not too worried about the beef, that's just sort of ticking over with a little. And as you can see, 40 grand plus, I don't know, I suppose about, it's about 60 grand's worth of feed did not get as much. I was thinking, but that's alright, hopefully they'll produce some milk, that'll make up for it. This morning, as we came in, no milk, and if we have a look at our Holstein, I think, I think I'm getting this right, our cows, do they not need to reproduce before they start producing milk and do they need to be super happy I mean these are 100% healthy at the minute because they've got a little bit of everything still <laughs> that's gone down so much um, yeah so we're not making milk we're not getting any milk and we've not done since we restarted I think our cows need to reproduce to uh, produce milk. I'm sure that's a thing. I'm sure that's a thing. Shall we uh, check on the info? Well, I don't think it actually says anything here about that, but I'm sure. Oh, not a massive spike of water. Sheep's pigs have been old enough. They'll produce their new animals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we should be um, yeah, getting milk once they... Uh, reproduce which there will be a while a while off especially if we can't keep them happy so I'm not sure if this is all all a big effort for nothing at the minute because we can't get them fed I still have the old save I am tempted to um, have a little try at bringing the old animals over and see if they produce milk I might do that before we do the next episode so for November we may have the old animals back and that may help us out. Our beef has got a bit of feed in, they're all... I said they're all alright. Yeah, they've got plenty of feeding because they're only small. Now I was watching... Um, I think it was... Uh, Disturbed Simulations again. And he was talking about how someone else was saying that with Maze Plus beef cattle are now not worthwhile because of the amount of feed you have to give them that their value doesn't go up enough to warrant what they take so we'll have to see how that goes really wanted to have a beef stock and a <coughs> excuse me and a dairy stock and I want to do it now I want to get this uh, maize plus under control whether that means caving again and selling some more animals that could be a thing but for now I'm just going to concentrate on my land I want to see if the cows will reproduce in time like I said I'm not going to worry about it now because I'm going to bring over the old cows after I've done this episode I'm going to get this episode out of the way I just want to show you all of that first before we do anything else so let's get stuck into some uh, field work and we're going to start by setting off our worker to do the subsoiling We'll probably come around and do some stone picking ourselves later. Haven't got, currently, haven't got a, uh, a lime spreader. I thought I had a little lime spreader, but we don't. So uh, we may lease one of them after after the subsoiling and uh, before the stone picking. That's when I like to do the lime spreading. And while they're doing that, it's going to take them a little while. We shall get stuck into taking that fence out. I want to get the fence out of the way, get the trees down, get that all sold. And we may even look to uh, dig that bit of land up in between. 
No, it's not very exciting. I was contemplating doing that off screen, but uh, I wanted to uh, show you that I'd <laughs> pumped more money into animal feed and helped to get them going. And then once I realised that hadn't worked, I wanted to uh, share that nugget. I'm pretty sure they need to uh, reproduce before they start doing milk. I'm sure that's always been a thing as well. Not, not like that's, oh my god, that's a new thing. I'm sure that's always been a thing. And then uh, the thinking of uh, bringing over the old cows, like I said, I'm sure I've still got the save file. So that could be doable. I don't think that'll be in the backups anymore. I think we've uh, saved too many times for one to be there. I did copy the, the whole save over. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and tackle some of this. Again, I'm going to try and keep this one short. I want to keep the last one short, and it wasn't. And since we're doing a lot of what we've already done, and most of the information I wanted to get across is across, and I can't be f worrying about cows, although... Let's quickly check. Did the chickens... They've ate a good chunk. I mean, we can put... What, a thousand litres of uh, corn in there? They're not. They're not happy. I think they need the protein. They need everything as well. Until we've got some harvests in, our animals have come to a standstill, unfortunately. Uh, but fortunately for us, I don't think anything's going to die. We're just going to look like, or I'm just going to look like a really piss poor farmer until spring, probably. Again, we've got some money. We could buy in more feed. There is always that option. I think it's just going to cost a ridiculous amount of money. We need to see what we can do ourselves beforehand. You know, there is always the option to, as if, you know, sell our animals and then do it as if it's from scratch. Post to go. I think it did. There we go. So, yeah. But I think what I'm going to do is, since the work is going to take a while, tree cutting, um, like I always say, isn't exactly the most exciting thing to watch, and it's quite noisy, terrible time lapse. I'll get this fence down, I'll get the trees down, and uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to go off to sail. And there we have it. Our trees are all loaded up on the back there, and we've got this new open part of the pasture. We can bring the grass coming right along the edge there, loop around past that tree, connect it up there. And this one will just come out and probably just put a little turn in it to uh, connect up around there. And you know what? I, I, I don't, it looks like that's a lot of work for very little ground. But it's also a convenience. Like it's just be able to go straight through. It'll, we'll be able to work the two at once. So we'll just have like one, two, three rather large pastures for grass. I think we're going to need another one. So uh, that's something I'll have to look into. But let's uh, get this sold. I think we'll take this lot to the uh, to the biomass, to, to the heating plant, and we can see from there our worker is still uh, cracking on with the subsoil, but they're doing a good job. They're getting there. Our poor moos, they're getting <laughs> getting hungry, no doubt. No, they're all right. They they should both be good for today. November and December, and I think November, December probably January, February. I don't think the grass grows, so there'll be no grazing to help them out. Maybe November there might be a little. I don't think we then start grazing again until March. I don't know, I'm really... The beef, I'm fine. They'll just tick over and they, they just won't fatten up by the time they hit the age to sell. And that'll just be a shame. But then we'll just buy less of them. We'll be able to manage it better. So instead of 100, we'll do 50. Whereas the dairy... I don't know, do we sell another 100? I think I should... Uh, I'll, I'll wait until uh, I've, I've tried the, uh, the original animals. If I bring that file over, if I've still got it, I'll try that. See how that works with milk and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, 
we'll just have to see what happens. But I think if that doesn't work and they don't start producing milk when I bring them over, I think we do. I think we cut them down to 250, 200. That's still a lot of cows. Uh, you know, with uh, disturbed simulations, like I said, he doesn't recommend. He's, well, 200 is a crazy amount with uh, Maze Plus, and we were running 500, so. If we got to 200 and we could manage it with the land we have, we should make a lot of money. And then if we buy more land, like I said, we can try and build up on it. It's just getting it to a balance that we can manage it and make money. If I have to sp spend 100 grand a month on feed, then it's really not viable. Especially if they're not producing milk. It's just throwing money away. So hopefully, uh, what did we get last time? About six and a half, seven grand. I think we've got a little bit more wood this time. Nope. Perhaps the price is just worse here. But it's winter, so the price probably is down a little bit. Although, no, demand should have been high. But anyway, five, five and a half grand. That certainly doesn't cost the uh, the cover, <laughs> or, or cover the cost, sorry, of uh, buying the feed. But we'll take the trailer back. Be that maybe covers the cost of the leasing of the trailer <laughs> if we're lucky anyway like we said when we when we did it it was the, the trailer was probably always going to cost more than we'd make in wood and we weren't doing it for the wood we were doing it so that we could open up the land and uh, do better with our grass that was the thing right. so we'll uh, pop this back not sure. The thing is, I don't, I don't need a big. I was going to say we could pull a uh, lime spreader back, probably with this truck, but we don't need a big lime spreader. Just what a little lime spreader. I don't know what made me think we already had one. There it is. All right. Uh, just return. Thank you very much. Thirty minutes. Look. We want to be able to pull one back anyway, so I've got to hitch on back. So I'll head back to the farm, I'll grab a tractor, and we'll get a little lime spreader, and we'll uh, spread some lime. So I decided to bring the Amazon up on the back of the Deutz, and we're going to repair it, repaint it. Apparently, it's going to be worth it. One six, so that should be what, four, five, two, so it's an extra hundred. And we'll sell that, and we'll purchase a, we're going to buy one, we're going to buy a lime fertilizer spreader. And we're going to replace it with a Kabuta uh, DSX W Geo spread. This does lime and fertilizer. Let me just check that, actually. I was on the right one. Yeah, lime and fertilizer. Uh, we're going to go with the, uh, the slightly sneaky, cheaty 10,000 litre capacity. Uh, just because we mainly want it for lime because we're doing most of our fertilizer with manure anyway and slurry and this is going to be big on lime so we'll buy that that's going to cost us 29 grand so let's go and stick that on the back now we do have i hope we do because i'm now heading back watch mm. should have checked shouldn't i should have checked i'm sure i topped my fertilizer not my fertilizer I think I did the fellow as well. I'm sure I topped up all my um, tanks before we started up again. So uh, I'm going to go with that. So let's go and get ourselves some lime in here. We'll spread that on the old cornfield. As so that should be pretty much done by the time we get back. Because the day is getting away. It's nearly 2 o'clock. Actually got into, got into quite a nice rhythm with doing the trees, it's just that the way I do them I know that everyone likes because I I do use the uh, the power tool sort of power lifting thing, what's it called? <laughs> anyway, yeah, super strength there we go, Christ all my brain laps um, yeah, just to move the trees back just because I'm uh, terrible with a claw I haven't got anything that works with the wheel loader at the minute, we will get one although I'm hoping Maybe not to have to do too much more tree work for a while. 
it's, oh, you know what? I wanted to get some out of this field, didn't I? I wanted to lean them out. So you never know. Maybe once we've done planting that corn in there, we'll have a little tidy up around that. Probably should do it beforehand, but I'd like to do that. I, I can see us getting a lot more fields and doing a lot more merging anyway, so there's every possibility that we can get a lot more. Uh, so it's not really deforestry, is it? It's just to sort stuff out. Right, which one is which? The seeds, so that's lime. Oh, took your horn. Oh, I didn't get lime. Oh dear, that is annoying. Did I not get any? That's got 10,000 seeds and that's got 10,000 seeds. Seriously? That's what he did? What a fool. Okay. I'm going to have to uh, order some for delivery. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do it. I'm not driving all the way back there. Not unless we've got some on here, although I think that's seeds as well, isn't it? Balls it up, people. Balls it up. No lime. Nope. Okay, we'll uh, we'll get some delivered. So for an extra cost, we now have some lime. Loads. I'm not quite sure. Stupid man filling up the both things. It shows you I wasn't thinking at all, was it? This probably ain't even going to be enough now. So many frustrations going on with uh, <laughs> with the animals. I'm just <laughs> balls and everything else up. That's how it goes. That's why you got to get this stuff right. We were going so well as well. Which is uh, slightly annoying. I was overly confident in what we had and what we were doing, and I didn't realise the whole ten times feed thing was a thing. So that's that's what's really hit us, I think. Other than that, we're probably doing pretty good. Our crops will get us there. We will get there. Like I say, it may be a case of having to sell some more animals, just so we can be at a manageable point and then just growing again there's no I guess there's no harm in a little reset just not something I really want to do right marvellous I'm not worried about that being full um, sorry I was pressing stuff and nothing happened I was just wondering what I was pressing I'm not too worried about that remaining full because we do have to uh, plow up and lime the beet field once that's done. So that's uh, not a thing. I don't normally like leaving them full, but we've got nothing to fertilise, so the lime can stay in there rather than have to fill it again. And we'll have to do something with the seeds. I might have to uh, store the seeds or empty out the seeds into a cedar. And then, uh, how's that work? Where are they gone? Let it run off. And then, uh, buy some lime and put into that one and just store the seeds again. Look, we've got the two massive bags that we can't empty of seed as well. Need to get a grip, get control. All right. This is done. We could put a little fence in there, can't we? We could take the stumps out there, put a fence in so we can uh, put have like the convenience of getting through from the grass should we need to be able to. I don't know why we would, but if we were doing like a big manure slurry fertilising session and we won't have to drive all the way around the farm. There's no, no harm in having gates. Gates are good. Lots of farms have lots of gates. Look how the manure is building up in there. It's just all caught up that one side. It's going to start falling out soon. I've overshot my mark. I'm trying not to store anything in the uh, storage shed there. I want in the storage hall. I want to use that for putting my beets in once we've got some. And I'm going to have to find out about this 
beat cut and chop and business as well because we're going to need this just a cut beat that goes into the uh, TMR if that's what we want to use for it so yeah, I need to look into that I'll probably have to go back to my friend uh, Disturb Simulations and uh, see what he does with regards to uh, cow feed as I've been trying to watch bits of his um, Atticum Park series that he did as Maze Plus launched so hopefully he'll do a bit of it there if not I'll have to go back and watch the, uh, the tutorials he did because he's done some really good tutorials but like I said when I <laughs> first mentioned it I forget everything so quick that only parts of it <laughs> sink in <laughs> unless I watch a tutorial about 20 times it doesn't stick I don't know why <laughs> I'm such a bad learner <laughs> Oh dear. That's why I was never good at school. I just don't learn that way. I have to do it. <laughs> like, do it two or three times, and then I say, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. If you make me just sit and watch, or someone just tells me what to do, it just does not sink in. Uh, what is that? Uh, I think I'm like a aesthetic learner. Is that what it's called? I have to do it to learn. No good telling me. No good making me watch. Anyway, this will be a quick one. And we're going to run out of lime. So it's not even going to get full lime spreading on it. 10,000 litres. But it was completely depleted. So. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fuss over. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to have to be as it is. We'll have like 80% of the field covered. I'll take that. With how things are going at the farm, I'll take an 80% coverage online on a field I don't know what I'm going to put in. Like I said, we're going to put corn in there in the spring. It's going to be the corn. Whoops. And, um, so yeah, anything. There might be uh, a little field of soybeans to go in for the chickens. That would be handy. So we could have the corn, soybean for chickens, and that'll be a thing. We'll put this where we it turns out look, it was empty anyway um, put this where we kept the fertiliser before anyway now something else I want to do is to sell the weeder, we're never going to use that again it's sitting there and we uh, we pay for it every day in our machinery costs I think or just in general but we're going to gonna get rid of that and we're going to do it from here we'll repair it and we shall repaint it for that little bonus and we shall sell it for 6,300 thank you very much one less thing that we've got worrying about and we've got the roller I don't think we need to roll grass anymore and that's what this is this is a grass roller with our new roller tools that we've got with Maze Plus if we do that to our meadows after we cut them we shouldn't need this so we're going to sell this as well. This is me tidying up the yard, by the way. So we'll repair it, we'll repaint it, we'll sell it, and we'll get just under four and a half grand for that. And we've got a little bit of space. I'm going to keep hold of the cultivator for now. We haven't used it in a long time because we have uh, direct drills. But if we're going to be planting for potatoes and beets and stuff like that, we're going to need a cultivator, at least. I mean, we've got the subsoiler. The subsoiler works really well. But it does bring up large stones. I'm not sure. I think our cultivator just does small stones. So I'm going to keep hold of that for a little bit. I'm keep my blade. I'm just thinking of what I want to, what I want to trim down. I want to, what I want to have ready for when we're proper smashing it again. I think that's it for now. So, let's... Sorry about spinning my head around. Let's... Oh, it was time for o'clock. We'll uh, jump to the New Holland. And we'll use that money to go and lease a stone picker again. And this time we'll keep hold of the stone picker. We haven't got one brought, have we? Uh, we'll keep hold of the stone picker. Like I say, we're going to have to dig up the, uh, the beets once that's done. That's a big old field. But we'll uh, 
get this done, we'll get this going. Like I say, I'm trying to keep this one a short one, but without sort of skipping out too much. Like say it's it's all stuff we've recently just done. There's nothing sort of new going on. But I don't like just sort of jumping ahead too far. I think after today there probably will be a jump forward because Actually, it won't. No, November, we've got to get our last cut of grass in. So I might try and put all of November's work into one video, because it's just going to be me doing them meadows. They're not all going to be grown, but some of it is already fully grown, some of it's sort of half grown, so I'm not sure how much grass we'll get, but we're going to get as much as we can. And I shall hay some of it and um, fresh cut feed the rest of it. So I don't know what I jumped out for. We can do it from here. Um, yeah, so that's sort of the plan going forward for the rest of this year. We want the uh, larger capacity. Yes, please. Larger capacity. Everything else doesn't matter. We'll lease it. Another two and a half grand. So what we've uh, sold... So it covers that a little bit for us. We're back to uh, 317 grand. After purchasing the line for a direct delivery. Yeah, that costs, I, I do it so it costs more. So it costs us like 200 a bag more than uh, if we would have brought the bags up here. But I wasn't going to drive all the way up here with a trailer again just to do that. Should do. But I knew I was coming back to do this. This is too many trips to the store sometimes, especially once we've just been up here and done the wood thing. But we'll get back. We'll uh, we'll do the stone pick, and I'll do this myself. No need to stick a work on. I don't think I've got any more jobs on the farm. I believe the grass is all all right with its uh, fertilizer, or with its yeah, with its fertilizer. Its nitrogens are all good. It had all its lime states, it had everything, everything else was put in on it uh, when we came in. I think the only thing that's really missed from our fields is that the areas that I had to plough up again and then um, worked the planting through, um, working the planting through a, uh, a mod rather than have to, you know, <laughs> spend two days doing that all myself. The uh, the areas that I ploughed up and extended with again, they haven't uh, got the rolled state. So that's all that's missing on them. I think they have everything else. So that grass should be good. Should be good grass. We should get a good cut off it. So even if it is slightly undergrowth, should be reasonable. Most of it will be a good growth. So we've got our new me or our, our sheep's meadow there. I need to dig that up, don't I? Our sheep's meadow there. Things like that. So that's all alright. But it makes sense to do the digging and the alteration of that meadow once we've cut it. And then I'll just seed in what we need to do. And that should grow roughly around about the same rate as the rest of it because it'll all die in winter. That, that makes sense to me. I think that's how we did it before. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, to try and keep this one short and uh, compact, I'll probably end here because this is all I've got to do now. I'm just going to stone pick this. We've got nothing else to do with it. We're going to plant in the spring and sort of throughout the year. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. I am sorry that I am ballsing up the cows so badly. Hopefully if we can bring the old animals over, they work and they give us milk. If they don't, we'll just persevere and see what happens. I'm sure they will. Once once they're ready, they will they will start to uh, lose milk. Just gotta, just gotta look after them. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed it, I get, I get so waylaid I get so distracted by it uh, if you have enjoyed it give a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel we don't always do things this scrappy it's just new functions on an already run up farm that was a little bit too big for the new function but if you are new hit the subscribe button 
bit turn your bell on, find out when new videos go live, comments and feedback down there. By the way, feel free to tell me how bad it's going or ways that you think we could improve it, what we should do what we should have done, what we should do going forwards. Like I said before, I am a little bit ahead because I'm trying to load up my schedule before I go away and then so I've got stuff when I come back, but we'll uh, we'll be pretty much caught up by the time I return. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one for a more successful time. Bye-bye.